Is that design on your shoe? What? what? <laughs> Good morning guys, first day of Scotia Fest. I'm getting some practicing in right now. I came in Saturday and just chilled on Sunday a bit, did the registration. I didn't document that because it was very stressful. Long story short, I nearly missed one flight to get here and as a result my bag didn't get here. But I did get my poutine fix and a few other things. Um, met Jacob, I'm rooming with him from last year. And uh, we just did um, like the group orientation meeting, outreach, now I'm practicing, I'm gonna get some lunch and then first rehearsal. So stick around for the adventures. It's gonna be a fun two weeks, seeing some familiar faces, gonna make some new friends. You know, all part of the joys of this. Hey guys, I just finished uh, my first rehearsal with my quintet. Well, minus one violinist. So tomorrow we'll have her. Went well. Um, I feel really good because I was really prepared. And, you know, I know stuff now after like you know, going to school for a year and actually being here before. So I felt really good. And the groups, the group members are awesome. So I'm excited to make music with them. Now I got some downtime. Probably I'll practice some more and hang out. Scotia Fest just started the day with an early morning Schumann rehearsal. Looking forward to see how this piece develops. Now I'm going to rehearse with my pianist for uh, my master class on Saturday. It's God St. John. <laughs> nice! Oh my, that's my partner who did that! This is quickly, this is turning into jungle fog. <laughs> Already all done with Schubert rehearsal. Went really, really well. I'm looking very forward to the master class on Saturday. Probably gonna just touch upon it once more. Right now I got some downtime. Probably gonna get some lunch, practice some more, because I'm done with rehearsals for today. So I'm gonna get, make good use of this time. Hey everyone, uh, it's Wednesday, yes, I think it's Wednesday, and we had a master class with Sharon Wei, so I was watching that, and then I had rehearsal with my quintet on the Schumann, so now I have the rest of the evening, afternoon at least, practically free, so I'm going to get some good practicing done, hash out some intonation things in the Schumann, get ready for the master class, as well as touch base on a few other things. Um, it's been pretty cool so far. I need to get a picture of my quintet to put in here for you guys. And I might be interviewing the artist like I did last time. That'll be a separate video. But yeah, I'm just taking it easy right now. Loving being back here. I'm so glad I'm back here. It's just been an absolute wonderful experience so far. I'm looking forward to what the rest will unfold. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Yeah. 
um, minimum step, okay? A little bit slow when you're tuning. Let's try it again. And try not to do forte pianos on these accents. So you can still sustain true, but a nice attack on each one of the tag was good. Hey guys, all done with the coaching. It was really, really good. Um, learned a lot from it. Uh, he's going to help out our pianist just so she gets her stuff together and, you know, all these other things. Great thing that we got a pianist for this coaching. Just got a little bit of practicing done. And now I'm free for the rest of the afternoon until the highlight concert and then I'm doing something this evening. I'm not sure yet. I'm probably going to have something surprises, like some surprises dispersed through this video. So, stay tuned. <laughs> now I am. Yeah, we're bringing a game. All of a sudden I go, Chinese grip, you never thought that was coming. Oh, lefty underhand grip, okay. <laughs> I specialize the three-year-old grip. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Thursday at the Young Artist Program. Today's been a pretty crazy day. We started bright and early at 9 a.m. doing outreach presentations because some of the groups are going to be doing outreach performances. I think actually all of us might be. Then we had, oh, I had a rehearsal with um, Janessa on the Schubert Arpeggioni for tomorrow's masterclass. Practiced a little bit and then today was Douglas McNamee from McGill University. He had a master class, so I got to see some of the students perform. He gave a lot of tips. A lot of things that actually reinforce what Mr. Harding teaches me, so I was very happy to be in that master class and you know, see what he was telling my peers. Um, right now, I'm just gonna get some dinner with some friends. I'm gonna show you a little bit of my social life. And then um, the highlight concert tonight. Tomorrow is bright and early at 8.30, so I'll try to show you as much as I can, but it's gonna go fast. Halifax by night, which was nice and had a nice walk back. Burned probably like 200 calories in the process, which is awesome. Tomorrow I'm bright and early. I'm going with Robert Stalker, um, sort of associated with the festival, kind of like my Canadian dad as well, to the farmer's market in the morning, rehearsal at 9 a.m., master class at 11.30, and then lobster party. A lot going on. You're going to see a lot. Stick along for the ride. But in the meantime, I'm going to force myself to sleep so I can get up early. <laughs> Exaggerate the uh, meter. And 
and make sure that I don't feel like it's like four equal. I feel like it's a little bit one, two, three, four, sure. right? I want to feel it. So I just finished my lesson with Sharon Way and I feel like I a new board person with the Brahms F minor sonata so now I can approach it better after I take a little time from it and then you know use the new fingering she gave me and some new perspective and maybe I can play it again sometime soon and play it really well. So I'm excited. She's actually playing this tomorrow night for one of the highlight concerts so I'm really excited to hear her do it because she had so much to offer in the lesson and then seeing her perform it will give me even more to sort of add to my ingredient recipe book. Anyway, I'm gonna take it easy until my last or my evening rehearsal with my quintet. Hey everyone, finally chiming in. This morning has been a little bit crazy back to back to back. Um, 9.30 we started off with a collaborative piano workshop with Simon Docking, one of the pianists on faculty here at Scotiafest. Uh, a few minutes later was the noon hour recital and then I went to a coaching thing with Tim Fain as you probably saw. So now I'm getting some time to practice. Um, I'm working on the Schubert again because Janessa and I are going to record it tomorrow. And then 4 o'clock is the highlight where Sharon Way is going to play the Brahms F minor sonata and quite frankly she is a queen of that piece. Because after having the lesson with her yesterday I'm so excited to see her perform this tonight or this afternoon. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get some practicing in because I have to lean into. There was no such thing as degrees in collaborative piano. And... Scotia Fest. It ain't cute. It's supposed to rain all day. That also ain't cute. Hey guys, so today's been pretty busy from the early 9 a.m. We had the first read-through of some of the orchestra pieces for Sunday's gala concert. Then we had the second noon hour recital in the Dunn Auditorium. And then a little bit of chill time. We just finished a coaching with Peter Allen on the Schumann Quintet again for tomorrow's performance. Now I'm finally getting a breather. We're gonna probably get some coffee or some food and then finish up finish up for the day. I'm recording the third one of the Arpeggioni with Janessa and then volunteering for the evening concert. I have to hold up a quiet sign. Marr. But otherwise, the rest of the day is pretty chill and I'm happy.
It's noon hour recital day. Today we're at the Halifax Public Library. It's such a beautiful venue. I'm so excited to be playing here. It's going to be a great concert, so you'll, be able to, you'll probably see it. Hey guys, just chiming in before bed, wanted to talk a little bit. Um, the Schumann Quintet performance went really well today. I watched the video on the GoPro and I'm really pleased with how the performance went. We all gelled well together and you know, it was it was great and got a lot of positive feedback from the performance. Uh, then the rest of the afternoon was fairly peaceful. Got to go to a talk back with Philip Glass. The morning I actually started with Philip Glass, I got to meet him and talked to him that I told him I know like David Harding, who my teacher who constantly plays gigs with him. So I thought that was cool. Then we had a talk back which was led by Dinah Vidratni who was a conductor for orchestra last year. So I got to meet Dinok as well and I got to ask him a question and it was uh, Philip Glass a question so well and then you know just took it easy, got to hang out with a few people and you know just call I'm gonna call it a night now. Um, we have outreach in the morning. We get those interviews done and we have orchestra and a few other things crossing everything. Hopefully I get a, um, our group gets to be on the highlight concert. So until tomorrow morning, good night. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I lost my actually. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey guys, so did two outreach concerts, children, orchestra rehearsal, and then got bad news that we didn't make it to the highlight concert. How do I feel? I don't know. Ask me in person. But I'm happy that, you know, I had about a year's worth of butt kicking at school to sort of prepare myself to play the Schumann and play it well. Still, you know, intonation, things to worry about, so I guess when Scotiabus is over, it's back to Kreutzer and Shradiak. But eh, I would have, it would have been nice to play again, and you know, on the done stage, even though it's a weird stage. But I guess tomorrow I can take it easy and kind of take the day in my own. Maybe I'll do some Bollywood or something of the sort. But anyway, I'm going to go to bed because we have orchestra rehearsal and I probably should practice for our talk. Do something dramatic for my vlog. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Viola's hanging out. So shaky. Eight five dollars for these.
Good morning, everyone. Walking over to Dal. It's the final day of the festival. It's gala day. We have a 9.30 a.m. dress rehearsal, then a little bit of downtime, and then the actual performance, which is at two today. I'm really excited, also a little bit nervous. None of the pieces really come easy, honestly, but it'll be a very exciting and exhilarating end to the festival. It's been wonderful here. So I'll try to put in a few things here and there, and that'll pretty much conclude this vlog. Hey everyone, just doing some packing. As you can see behind me, my room is a mess. Sorry, but some things just don't change. I am very happy after this second year at Scotia Fest. Um, I definitely felt a lot more prepared and a lot more, you know, just ready to take on any challenge that was, again, that was coming towards me because of the experience that I wrapped under myself and just, you know, learning more things, getting my technique better. So it made, you know, learning the new pieces, getting coachings and everything a lot more fruitful because I was ready in that sense to gain new perspectives and learn things and it was just so great to see old friends make new friends get to see people get to perform a course I want to give a special thank you to everyone at Scotiafest Danby Co for emailing me and asking me to come back Nancy Tuff my Canada mom Robert Stocker my Canada dad Jacob McDonald for hosting me and all my amazing friends and colleagues that have inspired me the amazing guest artists that I got to work with and interview, namely Tim Fain, Cameron Crosman, and Andrew Armstrong. So you'll see their interview soon-ish, depending on when that happens. And, you know, thank you Halifax for being such a beautiful place despite the cold weather. I'm packing now, as you can see, and I'm getting ready to go back to Dallas tomorrow. Be sure to like this video if you, of course, enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel so you can see all my adventures. Be sure to stay in touch with all my social media. I hope to see you soon on another adventure. I have a lot more coming up. My summer is quite busy, so be sure to be part of it. Thank you so much. Bye.